Welcome, welcome all back to the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. And we are talking one of my favorite fighters. If you've been entertained by the show and been following it for the seasons of four, it is Ken Shiro. Ken Shiro, my man. Now, I'm hoping this time, I am hoping we get to see him. Because I believe, I do believe the last time he was on a card, ESPN Plus showed a newie, but not his fight. But now that he's on the undercard of the Raw Brandt, I'm not sure if he's still going to get seen. I'm not sure if the Plus is going to show just the Rob Brandt and Marota 2 fight. Or are they showing that whole card? I'm very interested in that whole card, but Ken Shiro, that's what we're talking about right now. See, this is the same Ken Shiro I put in my top five pound for pound fighters. You know, he made number five. He Ken Shiro was my number five pound for pound fighter. Uh, I like this cat. So I don't know too much about his uh, past background, his amateur. You know, the, the show started two years ago, so I just worldwide watching. I came across. I like movers. I like his little style. I know he's trained by his pops. At 15 and 0 and 8, he's definitely going in there with the least experience to uh, professionally wise against uh, Jonathan Takani, who is ranked number one. Like, at least I know Ken Shiro, like I said, in my pound for pound rankings, it went three years. That's why. So if you guys are wondering, like, how the hell is he number five? It goes back three years. And, and 2017 was fucking up a lot of fighters with their opponent choosing and Kenshiro I, I, maybe it's a bias you know bias because I know he has some softballs for the, the Japanese honor roll end of the year fights some softballs but anyway going in at 27 at age against a 32 year old Jonathan 28 Three losses, one draw, 22 knockouts. 28 wins, 22 knockouts. Now, Kenshiro beating the taller man at 5'5 five, five to 5'2, five, 64 to, I think it's like 6'2 reach. I think he's shorter on the reach. I'm expecting Shiro to start the fight off moving on this guy because Jonathan only has, it seems, from what I've seen, the motherfucker throws hard. He throws hard. I think Ken Shiro is going to be moving, picking him apart. You know, not letting him set that power. Now, I won't be surprised if Ken Shiro fucking body shots this dude and knocks him out. I won't be surprised on that after a few rounds. Still, he does have the, the reach. I mean, not the reach, the height, the punch down. Kind of neglate the two or the inch and a half. Reach advantage of a uh, Tacona, like ranked number one by the WBC. This for this is for the WBC light flyweight title. Um, if it's not a knockout, I'm going with a Ken Shiro easy unanimous decision. I'll box this guy from the outside, mixing it in the inside, beat him up to the body. I think Jonathan's just too heavy footed and throws hard. Now those type of fighters. He's the type of fighter with 28 wins and 22 knockouts. He throws hard as fuck. He's like a perfect example. Not the greatest of fighters, but throws hard as fuck. And if you get if you get in his line, Dylan White, you get inside Dylan White's fucking, you get in that line of the fucking sight of that left hand hook, you're done. You know. So he throws hard. But he's heavy footed, like, you know, not much of a jab. He's coming in heavy footed and just chucking him, just chucking him. I don't see him coming in jabbing, being slick, being patient. And I think, uh, now if he does that, that'd be interesting. If he comes in hard behind a jab, you know, actually trying to walk Shiro down and not pressure him down. Because. I do believe shit, uh, Ken's going to move around, pick him apart. Easy UD victory, possible ninth round stoppage from him just wearing him out, body shotting him. 
with that predictable punch coming. Predict predictable wide hooks leaving the body open. But we shall be surprised. At least I want to be surprised. I would like to see a good. So this guy is ranked number one. But can can Shiro just make him look easy? Like I said, fucking not. Like I said, I, I had him number five for his his. Like I said, I know he had some softballs on those end of the year fights, but defeating Lopez, knocking him out again, defeating me Milan, pretty knocked him out, to kill him. But you know, Roberto and Saul. Softballs, I get it. I get it. I get it. The double RT boxer shot me was Mr. A. Ken Shiro. Easy unanimous victory.